The countdown is on today as we are now a month out from seeing a total solar eclipse right here in North Texas. People will be coming from far and wide too to the Lone Star State to take in what is going to be one of the best views possible. As Kevin Reese reports, what's expected to be an incredible experience for many is kind of a cause for concern for others. One month from today, parts of Texas, including Dallas, will experience a total eclipse, about four minutes of total darkness in the middle of the day. And while there is excitement about this event and everything that comes with it, there is also, depending on where you live, a very understandable level of concern. The Perot Museum and WFAA have partnered to host a series of eclipse events on April 8th. Since Dallas is the largest metro area in totality in Texas, some estimates suggest there could be a 35% increase in hotel bookings on that day alone. Airlines like Southwest and JSX even offering flights in the path of the eclipse. Astronomers from around the world will be here to watch the four-minute, once-in-a-lifetime event. It's very hard to describe. It's almost like a religious experience. It's, it's just, uh, it, it's very powerful. People are going to be very uh, excited. It'll be one of the highlights of their life, I think, in many cases. But smaller Texas cities are a bit more cautious in their praise. Bell County in central Texas, for example, issuing an April 8th disaster declaration because Eclipse tourists could double the county population that day. We'll take a closer look at the excitement and the concern tonight at 6 in Dallas. I'm Kevin Reese. All right, that little primer there. And now this, Mexico's Pacific Coast will experience the eclipse first. Then the path enters the U.S. and goes up to Canada. People in 15 states are expected to have a really good view of this phenomenon. And as you might imagine, rooms in some of those places are already in high demand. This year's rare site falls in spring, which is already a popular time for people to get out and about and travel all around. So if that is you, be sure you plan ahead. You want to pick a place where there are other things to see and do, or you could just stay right here because we're going to have a great seat for this. Uh, availability, though, for rooms is getting tight. Uh, that uh, includes hotels and uh, vacation rentals in the path of totality. And you'll want to get on top of booking flights if you're doing that or car rentals if you haven't done that yet. A lot of people have already thought of this. After April 8th, the next total solar eclipse visible across the U.S. won't happen until August 23rd of 2044 long way away. Uh, there's more information up on our website right now, so go check that out now. And remember, we are inviting you to watch the eclipse with us. WFAA partnering with the Perot Museum to host a big watch party on Monday, April the 8th. So uh, be sure to join us for that.